y'all. Give it up for Bax the Boomafoo, everyone. Hell yeah. Alamo Draft House, make some noise if you're having a good time. Hell yeah. I'm autistic. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense though. My favorite kind of porn has lots of eye contact. It's a, yeah, it makes you feel like they really want you. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a substitute teacher. It's the right response. Don't make any noise, I do it for the money. <laughs> it's not as hard a job as I used to make it. Like now I'll send a kid with to the bathroom or anywhere for any reason. Yeah, go ahead. The less I'll send half the class to the bathroom if it makes my job easier. Wouldn't you? Sure. This campus police is problem at that point. We got really serious for a second. Have I taught any of you? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a bit of a I mean. I, I get to overlook a lot of stuff, you know, bad language, I don't really care. But one of the things that I can't really overlook is when a kid, this has happened a couple times, is watching porn on his phone with no headphones. I'm being serious, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's happened. Doesn't that seem like an awkward situation to you? Don't I seem like an awkward person to you? Fuck. <laughs> so I'm like, no, put that away, put those away, put, the, put all that away. All right, I shouldn't be talking about high schoolers' dicks right now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so put it away. You can watch it at home, man. You can, or I could just give you a bathroom pass. You get a little more, more privacy. I'm gonna start talking about being autistic a little bit more, okay. <laughs> One of the symptoms of that is I didn't lose my virginity till I was 26. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the overwhelming support. I know it's an ambiguous thing. It's like, are we, are we, are we happy for him because it happened, <laughs> or, or are we sad because it was a hard time? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hard. I'm soft. I'm hard. It's, it's hard out here. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. I'm 29 now, and in case you're wondering, if it's been a nonstop fuck fest since then. It has not. <laughs> Try to try my best. <laughs> it's also my coming voice. <laughs> I like to make my fun of myself more than anyone else. Anyone ever called you that uh, said that you were like a uh, big bird if you drove the magic school bus? Come on, yeah. I look like Napoleon Dynamite if you transitioned twice. I don't give a fuck. I got hair like a dirty Q-tip. <laughs> Syndrome saves the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got a voice like Michael Sarah, Kermit the Frog, and Jordan Peterson. Have a baby! <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I've been the butt of so many jokes that I gotta find a new line for that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> right. Anyway, substitute teaching, no autism, right? Fucking 29. That's where I'm at with it. But it's okay. It's all right. Uh, you, you've all been late, right? Okay, hell yeah. Can I hear from, nah, can I hear from my virgins? Okay, good, they're not here, we can talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. so um, the first time I was ever invited over to a lady's house to spend the evening, right, uh, was, uh, to, <laughs> you can tell I'm autistic, I say spend the evening. <laughs> I speak like this, I don't talk like this. <laughs> Too much Jane Austen, where are we? <laughs> uh, Anyways, I, I, yeah, so she invites me over, right? And I suppose she thought I was more experienced than I was, but you know, she opens the door, she pulls me in. <laughs> and so I get a little nervous, right? Because I'm not ready for all that right up top. And yeah, I, I might be the only man who ever asked for foreplay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they pulled me in, and, like, and so I kind of like get nervous, and so I get soft, right? <laughs> and so I pulled me into the bedroom, so I panicked, and I ate her pussy, which was really good, because I read a lot about that online. <laughs> All right, fellas, if you don't know where the G-spot, just in, up, feel for the different texture, rip for your pleasure. Can I get an amen? 
fuck yeah, we're educating people out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm never off the clock. <laughs> yeah, I do look like an adjunct professor of sex education. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I look like a, never mind. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, my glasses are, are like my siblings, transitioning. <laughs> It's oh, why are you groaning? I have two trans sisters, you don't. The struggle is mine. <laughs> I love them very much. <laughs> but I don't know if they I don't know if they know that I love them because they think that I'm still Christian, probably. <laughs> Y'all ever heard about Jesus? <laughs> Alright, do uh, you guys want to close this show? Well, wait, wait, we've had so much fun. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for letting me be myself and connect with you. Thank you. Yeah, give it up for yourselves really quick. And do you want to close this out with a game? Hell yeah. This game requires audience participation. It's called Sex With Me. <laughs> the way it works is you'll call things out from the audience and I'll say, your eyebrows raised a little bit right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Baltimore, is that that guy? <laughs> yeah, he, right. She dropped some dick tonight. <laughs> Anyways, we're back, we're back. Okay. So the way it works, you call out things from the audience, you're a good sport. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll say, Sex With Me is like that thing for some reason. Yeah? So just go ahead and think something up, dream it up. Eyebrows. Eyebrows, gotcha. <laughs> Sex with me is like eyebrows because it's usually people's least favorite part of whatever's going on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sex with me is like eyebrows because when it gets thick, you get scared. <laughs> Let's have another one. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Sex with me is like Joe Biden because it always falls asleep halfway through. <laughs> And sex with me is like Joe Biden because it keeps losing its balance and it can't finish the sentence. <laughs> That's okay, I'm just being myself, except me. Uh, yes, yes, let's have another suggestion. Come on. Pork chops. Uh, sex with me is like pork chops because it is the kind of meat with the most bacteria. <laughs> Sex with me is like a pork chop because it's not what you wanted, but it'll fill you up at the end of the night. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Uh, Kamala Harris. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Sex with me is like Kamala Harris because you wouldn't believe it, but it's half black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sex, well, sex with me is like Kamala Harris because it's fucking up America, brother. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so, come on. What do we got? Anal. Anal. Very on the nose. <laughs> uh, or on my nose. Sometimes. <laughs> you ever eat an ass and then, <laughs> then your nose is bumping against the pussy? You know, it depends on the angle you do it from. You know where you can eat the pussy in your butt? Okay, so here's another little technique for you guys. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you could do two, two, two in the pink, uh, pinky on the sink, and then rub the clit with your thumb. I'm just passing out advice here. Sex with me is like anal. <laughs> because I'm a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's another one for you. I don't care if you don't let your pride get hurt or whatever. It's fun. You know, I've been exploring with a lady who I can only uh, make come by fingering. I haven't seen her for a month at the shows. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to see each other next weekend. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, right, 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 right. You put, put your middle finger in the pussy, your, your, your two fingers here, like act like, uh, like, like a clit guard, a labia guard. I don't know what the fuck, but then your thumb is on the clitoris. <sighs> Thank you for coming to this edition of Cosmo Magazine. All right, let's have another sex with me. I'm sorry, I'm opening up a little too much to you. <laughs> let's have another one, let's have another one. Huh? Uh, chicken fingers and crazy cat ladies. Well, isn't that a match made in heaven? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go down to the Popeyes. You've been taking care of Mr. Tibbles and Num Nums, and uh, there's a chicken finger right for anyway. Ah, okay. Sex, and <laughs> sex with me is like chicken fingers because it'll make you feel sick afterwards. <laughs> and sex with me is like a crazy cat lady because you can't leave. You can't leave. Just have a sense of humor about this. We're about to close out the show. Do I have to ask for another suggestion? Am I about to do that? Yeah, give me one more suggestion, then you can clap real fucking loud. Austin, Texas. Thank you. 
Sex with me is like Austin, Texas, because the traffic back there is terrible. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. You're fucking amazing. I always keep it weird. You guys keep it weird, too. Make some noise for the Alamo Draft House. One more time for your bar staff. Keep it going for Francisco and Colin Adam Balls. And one more time for all the other comics you've seen. My name's Derek Dimple. You guys have a great fucking night. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. We're here every Saturday, 7 at 9. Please